mkutano walitamani kupata nafasi ambayo ulipata si tu kupiga picha na uh, the cutters lakini yeah. ku experience nzima NBO stars hivi yeah. inakuwaaje huwa inakuwaaje uh, the venue maandalizi mikwara huwa hey, inakuwaaje maandalizi ni makubwa sana mm. kwanza wanaanza kutoa tickets almost Three months before mm. and then nikaanza kupata invite zangu miezi mitatu iliyopita mm. na sikali siku zinaposonga unapata updates yeah. weather updates where to collect your tickets um, venues zitakupo wapi uh, what to expect in the city um, pop up shops zitakupo wapi the stars zitakupo wapi the parties zitakupo wapi everything is detailed and well organized kwa hiyo hata nilivowasili pale nikaenda straight kwenye hotel na hotel details wanakuambia kabisa book this hotel wanakubukia and everything is online it's perfect mm. very perfect na hata ukiingia kwenye ile mji unakuta kabisa kuna branding ya yeah, all stars mm. nba all stars branding heavy branding from the sports people from um, the branding of the nba itself and unakuta kwamba kuna heavy involvement ya wananchi vile vile wanakuwa very excited anticipating mm. so it's amazing na those are actually the hottest tickets you know bei ya tajuzi kwa juu pia very new kwa mfano zaza dola 750 dola 500 na kuendelea yeah so so it's a great experience it's nice to see how and that's very professional work very organized now jinsi gani wame advance katika ile mchezo wewe ulipataje nafasi um nili actually nili kwa sababu ya kiwanja nilicho jenga cha michezo cha basket jangwani pale kuna msana she was very excited about it hayuko Tanzania yuko nje ya Tanzania anafanya kazi na this organization ambao pia anafanya kazi na NBA Africa kwa hiyo akamwambia the boss is NBA Africa you have to meet this girl yeah so alivokuja hapa anakupa anakumbuka alikuja managing director NBA Africa akaja pia kwa yako wewe na walikuwa walikuja for junior NBA the finals of junior NBA ambao rais mstaafu alihudhuria alikuwa mgeni rasmi alizifunga Um, alikuja huyo managing director in Africa akaja pia general manager mm. wa Toronto Raptors mm. the guy who's involved ana pick players like okay. you 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 ana sign the big deals like okay wewe tutakulipa tuta studio la milioni wow. 40 for a duration of three years yeah. so all the heavyweights were in there mm. you know what i mean and what what wing her family so kwamba these guys wanakuja kwa sisi role yetu ni kusaidia watu kufahamu kwamba hao watu hapo na this not rocket science kwa mfano tulivana kwa walivonalika kwenda kwa NBA weekend kuko ni almost kwa kuna NBA luncheon NBA luncheon akaja paka Adam Silver okay. and Adam Silver ni ah, he's like the top top wa the NBA league yeah. waleta commissioner okay. commission NBA commissioner ni mzungu bro yes kwa ni mpira NBA na uchezo na ana sign okay alikuwa pale for the first time actually alikuwa kuna yeye NBA luncheon na wakazindua kwamba waka announce kwamba kutoka kuna NBA Africa game mm. ambayo itafanyika tarehe 5 mwezi wa 8 na kulikuwa kuna masaa mbalimbali of most of them which was sad were West Africans yeah. wakina Jidena there's this other goal mara pili itakuwa inadha yeah, mara pili uh, no yeah ni mara pili inafanyika yeah, Johannesburg yeah, yeah. yes lakini ilikuwa ni mara kwanza kwa NBA commissioner mwenyewe okay. kuhudhuria oh, nice. well it's like it's picking momentum yeah. and and the conversation around ni kutumia entertainers kutumia sports people to to be role models to be ambassadors yeah. of the entire african agenda yeah. kwamba there are people who are talented we have amazing things in the continent mm. and this is who we are yeah. you know the positive side of africa kwa hiyo that was really exciting for me and i i totally loved the experience and everyone was so welcome to nika kwa sweets it was like a vip bar tuna kula huko tunaangalia game and then no one could Steph Curry or can LeBron James and obviously the ultimate Beyonce oh yeah let's talk about it ulipoenda pale ulipata courage gani kwa sababu watu wengi walikuwa wanakuangalia i know because when 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 actually when when walivonyambia you know what the nba all stars inafanyika new orleans i was like wait that's Beyonce's mother's town. I'm like she's gonna be there. And Kitchen was like she's gonna be there. So you know, nimefika jima jima mosi na angalia one of our pages. I don't know what happened in the morning. I'm like yo Beyonce is actually in New Orleans. So I text the guy the MD. I'm like I have to see Beyonce. He's like no worries. Mimi nitakusaidia kupata tickets at court side. Whatever you do it's up to you. Yeah. So tulipokuwa siku ile nilikuwa na kina Mini Dlamini, the girl from South Africa yeah, she's yeah. also there. Tukapoa yeah. tuka so before the this is the main game, the NBA All-Star game on Sunday. Mhm the media guy when be Africa akaja kutushukua kule suit akasema tende chini tukaende kula kutua the court side kuangalia nini ku meet the players you know just to tour the court side so we were trying like wait there's Beyonce Jay-Z so i did a detour <laughs> i 
did a tea tour. I was like, hi, I'm from Tanzania. Uh, yeah. And then everyone, Blue. Was, yeah. And then the okay, the I mean, I was like, you actually went. I was like, yeah. What do you mean? I mean, we. You have to grab every opportunity. You never know yeah. where this opportunity will land you next. Going to see my, of course, Nilanda. Okay. I love Beyonce. I love her hustle. I love the fathers. They're inspiring. They're role models. We did it for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay.